Hey folks, Lance Strider here, and you're watching episode 6 in my post-Venom spoiler series. So before I get into some tech today, uh, I'd like to first start out uh, by pointing out that I've got my soybeans. So I can harvest my soybeans. These are already up to 10, 10, 10. Um, not too difficult. And then I've got back here. Remember, I got the one presser from the quest. I made a couple more pressers and a few of these hoppers. And now I can throw my soybeans into the top. And in a little bit, I can come back later and I'll have tofu in the bottom hopper. That's from the last time I did it. Um, I could use that for a food source, or I can just as easily throw it in the decomposer and get a bunch of protein for uses uh, later so that it doesn't go to waste because I don't really have a way to keep it preserved really well yet. I have to make a freezer or something like that. And it's not super necessary since I can easily synthesize food anytime I really wanted food or just take a dip in my food pool, <laughs> my, my sugar, uh, sugar, sucrose. Uh, anyway, uh, other changes to the base. Let's take a look up here real quick before we get into more stuff. You can see that I've uh, cleared this area out quite a bit. I set up this uh, 7 by 7 area for growing something. We're going to see. I'm going to try something different there. Let me get to that today. I'm not sure. Door out here on the roof, little area, porch type thing going on here. I like it. And then I've got this lofty balcony thing up here. That this might make a nice living area for someone. Maybe move my bed up here. There we go. Uh, that's what I did over here. Uh, over on the other side. I had a little mishap between episodes. Um, I was over here clearing all these... Uh, Silverfish out, and I, that went somewhat okay. You can see I've, I've made something here. We're going to get to that here in a minute. Uh, clearing a bunch of silverfish out, uh, but I, then in the process of clearing those out, I discovered that I have a big silverfish problem right over here in the wall, too. And you can see all of the stuff in here that looks like stone is actually silverfish eggs. Quite a few of them in here still. These ones are the ones that got me. I started trying to clear them out a little bit. After I discovered they were there, and uh, they got they got out quite a bit and got down to the bottom and everything, and uh, it was it was a fiasco. I lost one life to that, so there's my first uh, lost life. Died one time to monsters. Yep, because silverfish ate me <laughs> and get underneath you, and they're really hard to to deal with. So. Not sure what I'm going to do about that nest over there. Anyway, let's get into some tech today. Because I really want to start automating things and getting into some really high tech cool solutions and that stuff. Uh, I moved the furnace back there. I don't know if I showed that or not in the last video. Moved the furnace back there. And yeah, we got the the item hookup so that everything comes right out of this and goes straight into the uh, of the sorting over here. Really cool. Um, oh, and yeah, so you might notice some salt sand in here. Some salt sand in here. I did dig down a little bit deeper over here in the hallway. Down there, we can just look down there. You can see that I'm much deeper than I was last time, and I discovered a whole bunch of uh, right down here, this level, a whole bunch of soul sand. And of course, that makes it a little harder to stay down there. I, I gotta get this bee. There's a bee. There's a bee nest here somewhere, right there. Gotta get that out of there. Uh, and then there's this. There's a redstone block here. And it's kind of this little alcove, little decorated, decorated alcove. And that is 
also got to do with why this redstone block is here. So what I want to do is I want to make some, give me some iron and some stone. Gosh, so I need three. Two of those. Okay. Armor stand. There's one that's going to go right there. This is going to be my armor for if I go outside. And this is going to be my, well, what I guess I'll call it, like my spelunking armor, whatever I'm going to wear when I'm going down underground. And we'll sit there. Well, we're going to probably put some armor on that later. And, then, and it definitely won't be the same stuff I wear outside. I'm going to want like a jet pack. And, you know, so I'm not sure which kind of helmet and etc. Probably dark steel leggings. For some extra speed. Etc. Well, before we can do any of that, we need to get into actually uh, being able to make tech. So, uh, what would be nice is to have the right tool. Basically, make a crescent hammer. Now, it does not have to actually be a crescent hammer. Just crescent hammer is the easiest one, and so I'm actually going to make a crescent hammer. But a yetta wrench will also work. Um, a couple of the other wrenches will work as well. We'll get a uh, wrench. Uh, yeah, we made a crescent hammer, the Yetta wrench, uh, I believe the quartz wrench, and the engineer's... No, I don't think the engineer's wrench works. I can't remember if the force wrench works or not. Definitely the battle wrench does. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, iron and tin makes me the crescent hammer. And that's enough for this quest anyway so i'm going to get a full heart and i can actually choose to take another additional half heart but i think that may be what i do do i want the screwdriver no let's go we're gonna go with the extra half heart make sure we use our full heart right away before it rots they don't last very long there's a half a heart. If I get another quarter heart, I have enough for a full heart now. Or another half heart. Either. Either or. Okay, so. Uh, bits and bobs. I need to make some redstone reception coils and some machine frames. So that shouldn't be too It's just going to need some gold. I have redstone. I have just enough, maybe. Hopefully I only need one for the quest. Might need two. Let's find out. Well, no, one's good enough in ma ma machine frame. Uh, machine frame. Looking for this one. So I need some more tin, some iron. More tin. Pull that out of there. The iron. Also, I need some glass. I think I might have some. Yeah, I had a little bit of that left over. So. Make the tin gear. I'm gonna make the machine frame. That's done. And then what can I choose here? I can choose. Uh, I'm actually going to choose that reinforced machine frame. That's a pretty big thing. That's like a tier 3 machine frame. And then... Probably use that to create this uh, sawmill. What's that going to take? Sawmill. Gonna take iron axe and some copper gears and a redstone reception coil and some and some planks. Uh, 
There's some planks. Uh, that's the reception coil. I already have. And I just need some copper gears and so some copper. Should do it. Copper, and then oh, uh, come on! Copper gears. So, oh, I need an uh, an axe. Right? Is it just a regular axe? Yes, yeah, a regular old iron axe. Oh, sticks. Regular old iron axe. We'll use the good machine frame for this. We will go ahead with the copper gears, that, and then like so. There we go. Sawmill. Because it doesn't matter what kind of sawmill. It doesn't have to be a resident. You can you can make it. You could I could have used the basic machine frame and I wouldn't have had as much up options to upgrade it or whatever. I don't know that I'll need to upgrade it much, but there it is. I can add some augmentations to it later if I need to, though. Uh, question is where I put it for now. I could probably just put it there for a moment. Have this thing uh, powered up. And now I can start sawmilling up all this rubber wood that I've been holding on to. Because when I do the, when I put this through the sawmill, I get five jungle planks and the chance of getting rubber. I don't get a rubber a piece of rubber every time, but the extra rubber can, you know, does go uh, towards fueling things. Really, actually, I don't know. Fuel could probably use the top off of some methyl mercury. Uh, well, maybe more than one. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we get a stack. Throw our methyl mercuriate in there. And the generator. And we're going to get more now because we can make, we're getting more rubber. And I can always uh, just take the jungle wood and break that down for cellulose if I want a different kind of wood or something else from it. Um, or if I just need basic crafting wood, I've got some basic crafting wood, use jungle wood or spruce or whatever I have. Uh, let's get on, though, because let's, uh, okay, what do I want out of this? Good question. Signalum or the fuse quartz? Oh. Fuse quartz is going to actually save me some time later, maybe? We'll see. I'm going to take the fuse quartz. Uh, gave me an electrum gear. Uh, because next thing we need to do, oh, well, then we learned about this. Like the machines, when you when you make any of the thermal expansion machines, they don't come with any augmentations to start out with. So they won't eject or do the thing that you, you know, some of the things that you, that they would normally do in a typical uh, pack where they haven't changed that setting, so. Augmentations sold separately. All the augmentations need to be made separately. They're not they're not really hard either, so it just it it directs you to make the uh the servo mechanism which is what that allows the machine to pump this items out of itself and the modular network which is what allows you to determine what goes what direction. Uh so we have space in there, so we gotta break down some more of the jungle wood, throw it in there. Okay, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'll, I'll probably do that, but like I'll do it later. Right now, I really need to worry about this one, and I want to get this over here, cobble, cobble, which is to make an uh, extruder. It should not be very hard. Extruder. Yeah, it's gonna take a machine frame where we still have that basic machine frame, which should be more than sufficient. 
some glass, some more copper gears, so let's grab copper again. Uh, copper gears. Uh, iron. And let's see, we also need one of these, so I need a little bit more redstone. I think that I'm out of redstone. Uh, but it's easy, easy, easy to make. Uh, iron oxide. Copper. This one's not even usually worth getting the book out for. I mean, I want, it's just the two things. We have a stack of redstone. Glass, iron, how much glass do we have? Enough, I think. Okay, and then, let's see, oh, I still need a piston. Uh, so some cobble and wood. Should be enough. Piston. There we go. Igneous extruder. That should complete that quest. And we claim blocks of iron. Or we can accelerate our extruder. Which I don't think we can do because we didn't make it out of a very good one. So I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, I'm going to go with the blocks of iron. Iron's always good because I just used a bunch of it making stuff. Uh, and this extruder is actually going to sit right there. Now, this is one that I actually do need the uh, the things for. So, I guess at this point I'm going to need to make them. Uh, which is the, uh, the modular framework and the servo mechanism. So... Framework. Some tin nuggets around gold. Okay. I think we have everything in our inventory for that. Tin nuggets around a piece of gold. Gives us that one. And that's one of the ones we need in there. And then the other one was servo mechanism there are all the augments Sir, servo mechanism is a pneumatic servo with tin around it okay so still have stuff for that nope need more glass get that glass There we go, should have it now. And that with tin around it, yeah. Okay, uh, that one completes that quest. And why wouldn't we want to complete this quest? Because we can get another two blocks of iron, or half a heart. It's a great quest. We're going to get the redstone mechanism thing too. So it's actually, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in there since there's a space in there for it. And I might want to turn it off. And so now I can actually configure it so that the output's on the bottom. And I'm also going to want to switch it to stone here because that's the, uh, the ultimate goal is to send stone into this thing all the time and just continues to build up resources. More iron. 
Uh, it's good because I'm gonna need it here in, in just a minute. Because uh, uh, well, I want to do this one. Now, uh, there's two quests here. You can either do you can either do an Aquas accumulator, or you can do the, the reservoir. It's, it's one or the other. It's not both. So I, I like this one. This is the the Ender IO uh, reservoir. Um, it's bigger because it takes four different blocks. It takes four blocks. It's a multi blocks. But it does output water much faster, in my opinion. So, um, we need to make the reservoirs. So, uh, I always forget how to spell this. Res oh, yeah, there it is. Reservoirs. Uh, which is going to be, since I, since I took the fuse quartz earlier, this is going to be relatively easy. All I have to do is make a couple cauldrons. And I've been getting iron. So two cauldrons and then some fuse quartz. Then give me my two reservoirs. I gotta actually turn these in. And submit them. I'm gonna get them right back. And I'm gonna get the option of taking either some normal quartz or some ender fluid conduit. I'm going to take the Ender Fluid Conduit because it's going to be a while until I can actually make that. Uh, I got a stack of stone, which I can just turn that right into uh, mossy stone bricks. Throw it in here. Uh, so this reservoir is going to go right there. And you see it forms a multi-block structure. All I need to do is get some couple buckets of water into it. Like so, and now it should fill up with water automatically. And then if I hit it with a wrench, it should automatically export water into this as soon as I turn this on to input. There we go. All right, now all we need to, is the lava for that. Well, that's gonna be over there across the lake. It's raining, but I don't think it's nighttime. Oh, it is. It is say it's nighttime. So, wow, uh, looks like my bees are are ready to rotate. I haven't been getting a lot from them, obviously, because uh, you know. Bee houses, they're, they're one species. I'm not I'm doing much. I'm just getting some rocky hives. I suppose that'll give me some more honey later when I get into uh, doing the bees a little bit more. So I gotta go across the lake and get lava. You know, I might as well. Um, while I'm headed over there, collect as much. Uh, how gee as I can. All this algae. Well, the algae had grown all the way over here. Oh, it's even all the way back that direction. And if it weren't for the fact that there's actual division in the water there, I think it would have kept going. So I just need a bucket of lava. I don't want to keep that on my bar. Otherwise it'll really overheat me. Even even walking back in the water. It would still overheat me quite a bit if I left it on the bar. Keep it in my inventory, it still makes me warm, just not quite as warm. You can see it actually doesn't have a lot of effect on my environment, on my uh, bar down there. Well, I'll show you if, if I put it on my actual bar, you can see, boom, I'm going to be warmed. So this is a way to, uh, keep, to regulate your heat. Um... If you're living in a very cold area, you want to travel through a very cold area. And so I guess what I'm saying is it's not a bad idea to have a bucket of lava with you when you travel. Okay, and you, and you might notice I, I've, been, I've been messing around with the chisel. Uh, change the uh, surface out here around the lake a little bit. That's about, that's about it for that. 
Um, so yeah, let me. I got tons of. Uh, oh, it's still working on decomposing the mossy stone. Still working on that. It would it would go a little faster if I added an upgrade to the uh, the where the connector is for the item conduit. So now I can throw these uh, algae in there. They shouldn't it shouldn't take too long for them to start breaking down. There we go. And they'll go pretty quick once once they start going. Uh, but what I want to do f is I need to put this in here. There we go. Now it's got a bucket of lava. And it can continuously make uh, stone at the cost of a little bit of water. Which it has an infinite source of water right beside it. Also, this... can be connected via that and now this tank will fill up with water as well off of that reservoir and stay full so my sprinkler will run unless I turn it off with this lever now okay good uh, wow that's that's a pretty good progression in the tech there is uh, one more major thing to get done I kind of want to. I kind of want to um, buzz kind of through it here. Um, I want to get into the ender bits, and this can be a little daunting because of the changes I did to making the industrial capacitors. In fact, the renaming the industrial capacitors was something else. Um, so we got capacitors. So those are little capacitors. Capacitors. Uh, the industrial capacitor is what we need. We need lots and lots of these. Uh, and so for to get that I'm gonna need raw plastic. That's not a big deal. I've got the rubber trees Gold I've probably got a bunch of that redstone's not hard Capacitors on the other hand are these kind of complicated recipe in the synthesizer Involving aluminum copper Cellulose polymethyl mercurate. Well that comes from my rubber trees, too So I don't have to worry about that and lazarite and lazarite is something I'm gonna have to synthesize uh, so I'm gonna need salt, lots of it. Na, so that's salt. That's sodium. And I do get some sodium from breaking down uh, rocks and such. You can see I got like 186, but it's not nearly enough because every piece of lazarite takes eight sodium. So the one more little piece of tech that I want to institute before I uh, wrap this one up, and it's uh, it's not got to do with that. It's actually um going to be a uh, um, it's a cyclic assembler that's what I was trying to remember cyclic assembler uh, which is perfect because it can accept water at uh, and the and it will repeat a recipe so we want to make a cyclic assembler we're gonna need 10 gears we're gonna need three of them total because we need a machine frame again uh, we're also gonna need some copper gears so let's get uh, two stacks of copper, three stacks of tin. We'll start with copper, I guess. And then tin. Oh, that's nickel. Whoops. There we go. I'm a tin. Okay, there we go. Now, um, so we need some gears for our cycling assembler. We actually, is that Envar? I don't need Envar. I need tin. There's tin. There's more tin. It's different kind of tin. We've got different kinds of tin here. Well, there's three tin gears, and then copper gears. 
finally, I need. Oh, I need more glass. Glass. Okay, hopefully I got everything I need to make this now. Thomas Activator. Oh, I don't have redstone. Dang it, I need more gold. Gold, easy enough. Okay. Basic one. Wait, no, where'd it go? Oh, I need the uh, reception coil first, I think. Try that one more time. Where'd it go? No, still don't. Still don't have missing something. Really? I think I got everything. Tin gears. Copper gears. Oh, what goes on top? Oh, a chest. All that I'm spoiled by. I'm foiled by missing a chest. There we go. Chest. Try this one more time. Hey, there. Shift clicked. It helps if you have everything in your inventory when you try to do that. Otherwise, it will not work. Uh, cyclic assembler. Perfect. Cyclic assembler is going to go right there. Uh, I've been uh, puzzling how I'm going to get this powered up. Because I don't have the stuff to make any more power cable just yet. So I might have to just uh, kind of move this around a little bit for a minute, for a little bit. Till the next episode. Kind of power things up like this. Because that helps if I turn on the power to the back side. So the cyclic assembler gets some power. And the other thing I need to actually utilize this is I actually do need to make so that lasts right. Let's get that sodium. Let's, uh, lasers right. Sodium, aluminum, silicon, oxygen, uh, sulfur, and oxygen. Thing is, is those other things are actually compounds. So I need to make a compound of aluminum, silicon, and oxygen. Aluminum, silicon, and oxygen. Well, there's one aluminum. Uh, one silicon and four oxygen. Yeah, it gets you a nepheline. Uh, that's what I want to teach to the book because definitely gonna need to learn need, need to remember that one later. Nepheline, so get a bunch of that. Some nepheline in there. The other one was sulfur. Oop, I'm getting overheated. So yeah, this, some of these machines start to put off heat, particularly that generator. So if I'm near the generator too much, then I'll definitely start to get overheated. Um, yeah, so I made the Nephilim. Now I need the sulfur and the oxygen. And that's going to make us just a uh, sulfur with four oxygen. Gives a sulfate. So sulfate's one of the other ingredients for this. Oops, get the sulfate back out of there. So now that I got that sulfate, and I've got nepheline, and I've got sodium. Eight of those, eight sodium plus one of each of those things, will give me lazarite. There I got some eight lazarite. Learn that. 
And now I can make a lapis. But the other thing that this is really super important is, remember just a minute ago I showed you um, capacitors. Capacitors require these smaller capacitors, which require a lazarite each. So, lazarite is something that you're going to want to be able to make in mass quantities. At some point, I would say that you're going to want a chemical synthesizer that is dedicated to doing nothing but making lazarite on demand when you need lazarite. Because uh, you're going to need a lot of it, lots and lots of it. Capacitors and various other things that require those capacitors. Uh, but now that I got the lads, alright, the only other thing I need is some paper. Paper. So, pretty sure paper, cellulose. Will this make paper? Somehow? Surely there's a... Yeah, there it is. One, two, three. Gives me eight stack, eight pieces of paper. And then I think it's two pieces of paper plus a lapis will give me a schematic. Nice. That is going to go in the cyclic assembler. Where I'm going to teach it that a pot, I think it's a pot, and a bucket of water. Let's see here. It's got issues. Uh, helps if you turn off your NEI there. So I'm going to say a pot. Oh, come on. I want to cooperate. As long as it does that. Okay, so let's try to start with a bucket of water. Bucket of water plus pot equals a salt. There we go. Then all we need to do is throw the pot in there. And because it's already receiving water from the reservoir, because we're right on the reservoir, all it really needs is uh, a little trickle of power and it continuously will make us some salt. That salt can then go over here and we'll get some sodium and chlorine. For that, the chlorine is kind of a useless right now. Maybe we can come up with a use for it later, but um, and I can also uh, through augmentation, if I put the augmentation in there, uh, I think I can actually just go ahead and tell this thing to extract without a redstone signal, and yeah, it'll automatically pull everything out of the red slot. So it's automatically going to take and throw salt in there. This thing should be automatically throwing stone in there occasionally. Yep, I see stone going in there. So I should be building up massive amounts of resources now. And uh, we're getting a good bit into tech. Uh, so yeah, I kind of I kind of revealed my plan here on how to I'm going to mass produce some capacitors. In fact, I think I'm going to mass produce a serious amount of capacitors between this episode and next so that I can get on with a bunch of stuff that deals with that. I think maybe, no, we won't be ready for advanced tech next episode. Next episode will just be the, kind of the rest of basic tech. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, a thumbs up if you did. Uh, share it on all your social medias and stuff. I think also I'm going to go and get some armor together for this. And I think if I take on these guys down here, if I take on some of these guys, I might record it. That way, if anything fun happens, I might might show some of that. Because uh, there's a lot of these. There's a lot of them down here. You can see, actually, I made a sword. I didn't even mention it until now. I made a steel sword. Uh, but I don't need to make some armor and some other stuff. I want to be doing a whole bunch of uh, exterminating. Oh. Uh, but it's also good that I got the experience levels. I don't want to lose those. So anyway, uh, hopefully I get into something that I'll actually be able to use those next episode, I think. Is it done? No, it's under advanced tech. But anyway, so um, 
yeah, until next time, I will catch you later.